and welcome to another FPS Creator Reloaded video. This is version 105 um, and I thought I'd basically, um, just because I can't really think of much to do that's different with 105 than prior versions, um, so I thought I'd just show you a little bit about scripting, because um, some of you might not have a clue how to use the scripts. Um, so I thought I'd do it, I, I did it in my little um, Escape the Compound demo, and I th I'll just do a quick demonstration of how you can get your scripts to work. And now there's not a lot of scripts in there that you can use at the moment. Basically you can open a gate. Of course you could write your own, but I'm not going to go into that sort of depth yet. Um, one, because I don't know too much about Lua yet. Um, all I've done is edited scripts that exist. Uh, and two, there's actually not that much you can do with it yet because we still need a lot more data from FPS Creator to be able to do certain scripts as far as I'm aware. So, without further ado, let's, let's add an entity. Um, let's see, um, well, I don't know, just a building. A building, we'll just dot a couple of buildings just for the look of it. There we go, that's, that's severe planning there. Um, and we're going to need, oh crops, where is it? So I can never find it, I've got that many. Uh, scenery? Is it scenery? It is scenery, right. Gates. Okay. Uh, let's zoom in a bit. Uh, put the gates here. No, we'll put the gates. Mm, well, it doesn't really matter, does it? It's just a little example. Um, let's go into grid mode. That's the one, I think. Hard to tell. Zoom in a bit more. Right, let's see. Right, okay, we're going to stick the gate here. Plop. And just for the sake of it, we'll have a bit of fence. Oops. You. Okay. Because it's gridded, I can just nicely plop them together like that. Doesn't work all over the place, unfortunately. If I show you an example, where you go, where we go, is it, it, it's, it's, it's almost there, but you try and sort of do anything else, like that, and you can't grid it up. So that is an issue with the grid system, um, just, just out of point of fact. Probably because it's using the left corner of it, I think, rather than the centre. I, I could be wrong, it could be the centre, no. But yeah, you can't do up and down bits of the grid, I could carry on and do some fence across here that would match but not up and down which is a slight pain um, but yeah I'm not too worried about it let's just put a bit across there it's just an example so I'm not really too fussed right well we've got a bit of a gate fair enough you can walk around it but you know who cares it is a demonstration of scripting so let's put our player down Set it that way, put him here. Now, here's the gate. So, if I just right click the gate, zoom on in, you can see it's already set to door lure. So, that's good, that's already set. We don't need to change it, it's built in with this object. But obviously, if you're using a different object, say another door that animates, you could load it in and you'd need to put the door lure in this script here just click it and you can see there's all sorts of things uh, some of them most of them are all default some of the ones I've done like tools pick up save code um, NPC idle didn't really work unfortunately um, you know things like that I've, I've done but I don't need to change that because it's already at door lure so cancel that that's, already, that's fine so all I really need is some sort of key to open that door so what can we have um, Let's have a look. Obviously, the obvious one is a key. Do, 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 do. Misc, generic. No. Where are we? Fixtures. No, I don't think it's fixtures. It's collectibles. Collectible. Collectibles. Come here. Um. But well, normally you'd pick the key. You'd normally pick the key, but just to show you that something else can use, be used for it, oh, well, I'm thinking about picking something else. Um, but I've got a lot to pick from. So, no, okay, I'll just use the key, it doesn't matter. I'll 
we use the key. We pop the key. Um, yeah, we'll just pop the key down on the floor there. So I'm not going in depth. Normally, you try and hide the key somewhere. Where, where's it gone? Did it pop down? I can't see it. It's taken off grid a minute because. There it is. There it is. There we go. Right. Don't right click the key. And you can see it's already set for key lure. That's great. That's already set. But obviously, if you used a different item, you'd have to set key lure to it or, or a different one. For instance, tools pickup. If I use tools pickup, which is one I've, little, I've edited, okay, it's not going to be right because it's going to have the wrong things, but. Changes. Right now, that's got the tools pick up icon, and well, now we'll run it now. We'll run it now. Um, I'm not sure whether it'll capture very well, but we're, go we're going for it. I don't care. Okay, I'm in. Uh, there's the key. Get close to it, and it goes. Oh, these tools should help me out. Press E to pick them up. Obviously, this was because I set some tools up in my other demo. So if I press A, I'll pick up the key. Obviously, I could change that message to a key. But you can use it for any object you want. And you run up to the door. And it'll tell you the door is locked. Find a key to unlock the door. Press E. Nothing happens. That's because we haven't associated the key with the door. Which is exactly what I was hoping would happen, and it has happened, I knew it would happen, now hoping in it. Um, so I'll right click on that, and you'll see here, use a key, there's nothing there. So if I click that, um, I'll just put key, because that's the name of that object. Apply changes, just check key, see it's called key. Zoom in on where the hell I put that key. Hello, key. There you are. Right click you. And you see it's called key. So, that should probably work. I'll just. I'm not sure whether it's case sensitive or not. So, we'll try it. Right, so. I mean, normally, with a normal key script you just pick that up automatically but I've done it so you have to actually pick it up and then we go here ba, 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 ba. and it should now open hey we have a key and that's how easy it is to add the scripts in simple as pie lovely that's what we want that's what everyone wants we don't want it to be complicated um, you want things to be easy so you can concentrate on building an amazing game and not worried about all the technicalities behind it. Quite a simple script really. Um, all it does, this particular one, it checks the distance you are, it knows the coordinates of the player, it knows the coordinates of this, it checks the difference between them, if you're close enough, and it'll let you use the key if you've got it. And that's basically what the script does. Um, this one, the key script, oh my god, it's like looking for a nearly nice that the key script, um, is one I've edited, but if I go into it and just change it back to key, if I can, if I can see it, key, there we go, open, uh, apply those changes, now run that. What we'll see is um, basically the keys there, and it'll go bink. It won't tell you nothing, you'll just pick it up. And then it'll do the same here. Still key, still the key object, so this is still going to work. But that's the difference between the two scripts. Now I edited this key script that I'm using to get the scripts that I used. Um, where it actually makes you have to interact with it to pick it up and just messages you um, and I could go into that uh, a little bit in detail uh, and I, in fact I will so I'll just show you the scripts in the next part 
So here are the scripts. Um, this is the normal key script, the standard one. Um, and you can see it checks, well, you, you, you possibly can't see if you don't know much about programming, but basically this gets the distance, checks whether the distance, uh, gets what the distance is between the player and the object involved. And then this checks whether it's less than 80, you can alter that obviously to anything you want. Um, then it plays the sound, it collects the entity, and it destroys the entity, because that's just how it works. It's not actually picking it up as such, it tells you that you've picked it up and it destroys it. Um, and then the one I've edited, you can see, is not much different. Uh, I've had to change the function name to tools pick up main, instead of key main. It's still got the same distance code, obviously. And I've just changed what it does inside there. So basically, if the distance is less than 80, um, and then it runs this bit. So if then, when the distance is less than 80, you press the E key, um, then it activates the entity, plays the sound, collects it and destroys it, exactly the same. And if you haven't clicked it, it prompts that these tools should help me out, press E to pick them up. So basically, if you haven't pressed E, it will put that message up, and if you do press E, it'll pick it up and it won't play that message again you've obviously picked it up um, and that basically gets it to work fine and you can use that with any object you want you know I mean you can change this bit of text here to say whatever you want and that will allow you to you know it's a bit of freedom that is you can play around with all sorts of things um, if, if I only knew a way to make the entity be beyond the entity that you're checking so you're always checking the one entity you clicked on or whatever I'm not quite certain how you can get a different entity to activate. That would be nice. That means you could sort of press a button here and a door would open across the map or something like that. But I'm not quite certain how to do that yet. But yeah, you can see it's fairly simple. I haven't had to change much to get that um, to work. At first, I had a bit of an issue getting this prompt to work. I tried to put it in here and it prompts up for a, you know, a second, if that. Um, but doing it like this ensures that if you're within 80, whatever that is in FPS Creator, um, then it'll print that, and then if you press E while you're within that, it'll pick it up. So yeah, um, that's about it. I can't think of much more with the scripting I can, I can tell you about. That's basically the basics. You can do all sorts with those simple little things. Um, I suppose I, I did alter the door as well in, in one, uh, but I'm not going to bother going into that. That's the basics. That'll sh that shows you how to get started. Obviously, a lot of you will be thinking, well, yeah, and I know this. This is easy, what you're talking about. But some of you aren't. So I thought I'd do it. Um, I'm trying to do a video for every single version that comes out of FPS Creator in beta mode keep a bit of a time limit of it and I, I, I'm a timeline sorry um, but I'm struggling for ideas of 105 I've tried a few maps and I've had a few issues um, so I thought I'd just do this about scripting um, and until I can get a better idea until next time I'll catch you later